Games don't really need a whole lot to truly be enjoyable. Sometimes a simple premise with just addictive gameplay is enough to keep you playing for hours. I just got done a game that's trying to do just that in Stretch Arcade. But is it worth the few quarters it costs to play, or is it a stretch that it's worth even that? Stretch Arcade is all about testing your reflexes. You're saving Earth from an invading force of asteroids. These asteroids are represented by various button presses on your controller, mostly the face buttons, but also occasionally the D-pad being used as well. The game features two different modes of play, the custom mode where you can set up your own rules before doing a play session, and then the campaign, which is 20 levels with a little bit of text dialogue that is on the level selection screen that does give a little bit of the game's story, but it's mostly just about having increasingly harder challenges to try to complete. This means you'll have more and more successful button presses you'll need to do in a row before you complete the higher levels and you can start the game from any level you've made it up to. The first few levels, of course, are pretty easy with just a handful of button presses, but then you're doing several hundred to complete the later levels. Every time you complete a level, the Earth you're protecting gets its health replenished. You lose health for either the symbols crashing into it, because you never pressed the button during the time that it was on screen, or you end up pressing the wrong button for whatever one is coming at you next. The game has kind of a cool retro black and white aesthetic going on. I like the soundtrack that goes along with it, and it just has kind of a cool feel to everything. Because of this, you're not seeing any kind of colors to represent the symbols. Sometimes it's going to be difficult to tell what's a square and what's the circle next, especially if you're focused on one side of the map, and then all of a sudden the next button presses all the way across the screen. There's a light indicator that constantly bounces between whichever button you have to press next. And as the symbols grow very close, to the center, it kind of gets darker and illuminates just the center portion of the screen to make you focus more on that. For such a simple premise, this one's actually pretty well done. There's certainly nothing really flashy about Stretch Arcade, but the gameplay here is actually pretty addictive and I can see some playing it for quite a bit of time and trying to see just how high of a score that they're able to get. There's no multiplayer or online leaderboards, but the game is only 99 cents, and I think for that simple dollar, you're probably going to end up getting your money's worth out of it, especially if you're a fan of these kind of reaction or rhythm style games. From the technical side of things, I had no problems as far as glitching or crashing of any sort. Stretch Arcade is available on the PS4 for 99 cents. It's also available on the Xbox One and does have a platinum trophy on the PS4. Overall, while Stretch Arcade may not be a whole lot, I actually had a pretty good time with it and wanted to make sure I covered it for the channel. Keep in mind the price on this one, as if it was anything higher than a dollar, it would be hard to really recommend it, but for that 99 cents, I'm going to be giving it an 8 out of 10. That's going to wrap up this review though. I'd like to thank for watching, and of course, I hope you enjoyed.